you know, they have games and everything. They have, like, lots of other stuff, like magazines and, like, old, like, strategy guides and tons of trading cards. Tons and tons of trading cards. Um, and they were doing, like, a buy, buy two, get one free sort of deal, but I'm like, I don't need much more of these things. I didn't even know these things existed. Super Mario Brothers the movie trading card set for like two dollars <laughs> from like 1993. All that good stuff right there. Uh, you can't really get it because I'm too new to this. Also, how much time do I have? I've got like three minutes. Like, bus for these. I got a pizza in the oven. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in the. Uh, Mario Brothers the movie trading cards. Apparently it has a uh, eight trading cards. <laughs> we got the Goomba. Uh, a little bit of a backside of that, so I'll, I'll read that. Um, because of the many different creatures that are part of the Super Mario Brothers world, a great deal of time was spent adapting these characters to fit a live action film. Okay, so it's more like. Be, like behind the scenes stuff and not like oh this is the bio of like all the creatures seen here is an early production sketch of a Goomba with a more colorful uniform than those finally used I don't know if this is like well it's from 1993 we got a strange new world from the thing from a safe distance looks like Earth as we know it, but up close is a strange world oozing with slow moving slime and ruled by prehistoric forces. Truthfully, that's a lot like New York City. <laughs> God, this guy looks fucking Bob Hoskins. Looks like my goddamn dad if he was younger. You got like strap on your belt, kid, with Bob Hoskins, the late Bob Hoskins is Super Mario. I would say the only best part about the movie was like. Bob Hoskins is like this Italian New York Mario like it totally fit the whole thing who can steam the tide of flooding waters from reaching the precious archaeological treasures of the dick side Mario Mario <laughs> forgot it was Mario Mario of course Daisy and Luigi fetch the expert plumber who dons the tool belt like a gun holster <laughs> the three of the race back to the side I guess it's just like the, the late Dennis Hopper I believe Koopa uh, meet the head honcho of the alternate world, Koopa, sinister, single-minded, and just plain not nice. The city's only politician has big plans to merge his barren world with the lush world of humans and other mammals. Them, then rule them both. Locked up. Oh yeah, this is when they were at jail. Plumbers in prison? Just tourists in this bizarre world, this Mario Brothers, the Mario Brothers still don't know what Crime they have committed, yet I love to stew at one end log and dark cell block. They have no choice but to wait to find out. I got like three more of these. I hope these are these are not duplicates. Are you kidding me? Um, making tracks with a with Mario punching a cop. See, so I guess Mario said fuck blue lives. Um, racing down the hallways of police headquarters, all the whites around, all the while surrounded of growing strings of creeping fungus. Mario and Luigi struggle to escape Koopa's clutches, finally they spawn an exit, or to be exact, five exits, which to take. Oh fuck this scene. Shall we dance? On the dance floor, the boom bar, the boom boom, <laughs> the boom boom bar. That's the fucking do from Mario 3. He has a bar now. He looks like a goddamn teenager. Uh, Mario attempts a near impossible admission. He must keep his distance party with Bertha so busy rolling and twirling that she doesn't notice him swiping the bar pendant off her ma massively muscled neck. Right. Okay, uh, uh, Daisy and the Rebels. Um, uh, Daisy having to see from Koopa's room dashes down the hallways of the tower only to smack uh, a spiking Eggy. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot, that, I forgot they were traitors. Um, you, you may as well know why she sneers angrily, but she's about to discover that the two former goons are now on her side. I gotta get that pizza. I, I gotta get that